hi guys in the previous lecture we have built this part and now in this lecture we are going to build this part it have this welcome section and the our program section and these two sections are placed inside a single leaf who have the width 25 percent and here you can see that there is a space on the bottom side of this first section and we will create this space and all the things and now we are also able to uh, give these sections in a a side element and if we don't want to use the side element we can also use the div section and other elements so now here I'm gonna use the side element and here is the closing tag of the adjust one adjust one have the 66 percent width and it contain all of this section this banner and this picture and products all is in this section in this div who have the 66 percent width and after this i'm going to create this 25 percent width aside and here is this here is a side here is a side and here i'm going to give it the class who have the width 25 percent here is adjust to and after this here is the wrap call to create the distance between two classes here is the wrap call and here is the div and then here i'm gonna in this uh, sidebar you have to create both of these sections first of all i'm gonna prepare this section and for this section here i'm gonna use the section element here is the section and here is the class here i'm going to give it the class indent bottom one so why we are we are creating this class indent bottom one indent bottom one is just for creating here we have to write section closing tag indent bottom one is just for creating the space on the bottom side of the section here you see that I'm gonna create the heading here is h2 and here I'm gonna write welcome and here is the class here is heading and this heading one to apply the style on its heading here is this is created and after this we have to create the paragraphs first of all I'm gonna create this paragraph copy this and paste it here here it is and here is the paragraph and here is its tag and here I'm gonna give it the class to create the space on its bottom side and now here is the anchor tag here is the anchor tag closing tag and here is the hyper reference here is hash and now here is the second anchor tag hyper reference and here is and here is its closing tag and then after it here i'm going to create the second paragraph and this p1 class is just for giving the space here you see that this is a space under the first paragraph and here is the second paragraph and here is the paragraph and here is the paragraph and here is the anchor tag on this angro plus hyper reference and here is the anchor tag both paragraphs are created and now here you see that there is a border on the bottom side of this second paragraph so we have to apply here a class hr border 1 
and the second thing is we have also need to create the padding on the bottom side of the paragraphs here you see that there is a padding on the bottom side of the paragraph we will create this padding and this we will create this anchor tag after this paragraph here is this and here is here is this this div is created it have the read more button and here it is so now first of all we have to give the style to this heading we have already defined the style for the adjust to adjust to have the 25 percent width and now i'm gonna define the style for the intent bottom one Intent bottom one is just for creating the space between the two sections. Here you see that on the bottom side of this section here is a space and now let's create it. Here is, I'm gonna define it here. Here is the padding. Here is zero zero here is 60 here is 0 and here is 60 pixel and now after this here is we have to give the style to this heading we have already defined the style for the h2 and but now here I'm gonna define the style for the heading class here is this here I'm gonna give it the red color to the heading here is hash b3 here is b3404 and now let's execute it here it is create it and now let's give the style to the paragraphs here is this and first of all we need to place this paragraph is in the strong it have the different style here is the strong and here is the p1 to create the distance on the bottom side of the paragraph but i'm gonna create it later first of all give the style to the strong here is the strong and here it is here we have to give the same color as we give to this heading so i'm gonna remove it from here and here i'm gonna give the strong so that style will be applied on this paragraph that is in the span and now next thing is we have to create the distances on the bottom side of the paragraph so here is the paragraph here is this here I have uh, I'm writing the code randomly at any place but you can download these websites I have already uploaded a video when this section is start in that video I have explained how to download the five websites from the Udemy and you can download the sites you can check its code and in that websites I have explained the code with the comments uh, the code is neat and clean I have arranged all the code so you can check the code from these websites and I will arrange this code later and here is the padding on the bottom side of the paragraphs here is I'm gonna write 18 pixel and here I'm gonna give it the priority and here is so now both paragraphs have the distances on its bottom side but this paragraph have the less distance here you can see that so we can reduce this distance we have given it the class p1 and you can give it a different pending on its bottom side here is i'm gonna give it here is the padding to the first paragraph here is 6 pixel here is important and now let's watch it here it is 
and now here I'm gonna check it what styles are not given right now HR border one is already given all the styles are given and now after this section we have to create the second section here we have to place this list here is this list this arrow image is in the background of the ally this is an image this arrow is an image and it is in the background of the ally and here is the section and here is the section and then here I'm gonna specify a h2 heading over and it contains the our programs here is h2 and here is our programs and then after it we have to define the ul that contain the list here is the ul here is the class here is list one i'm gonna give it list one class to give it the style here is the ul and here is the list item here is the list item and then in between this here is the anchor tag here is the hyper reference and then uh, it is okay and now we have to place the text in between the anchor tags here is copy this biotechnology and paste it here and now increase it and here is let's look at it so it is created now i'm gonna give it the styles by using it let's list that is a list one i will give the style to the list item and cutting and all the things here is first of all we have to give the padding to the ul the padding on the bottom side of the ul because there is a distance on the bottom side of the ul here is the padding here is 0 0 20 pixel here is 0 and here it is we cannot watch this distance clearly but if we put some text on the bottom side so this distance on the bottom side of this ul clearly we can watch it clearly and now here i'm going to give the style to the list items and we will insert the arrow image here is first of all display it as a block so whole list item is display as a block and its width is become 100% so it will cover all the area that is given to it that is 25% here from this point to this point and here is padding to every list item here is the four pixel from the top to create the distances between the list items here is the bottom side is also four pixels 16 pixel on its right side and then here is the border top here is the border top border top here is one pixel solid and here is h32 32 this is just for creating a border on the top side of every list item here you see that and we will remove the border from the first one here you see that first one have not any border and now after this we have to give the arrow image in the background of the list item here is you have to write url here is dot 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 images forward slash and here is a list one and here is marker dot gif this is the name of the image and here is no repeat and here zero for the x-axis and here is a five pixel for the y-axis and here is this is appear here and now we will remove the border from the first one and how to remove the border from the first one here you see that this first option have the border and here i'll tell you i have already teach you the pseudo elements and the pseudo classes and here i'm going to use the first child 
so this first child targets the first list item because this border is applied on only on the first list item so this first child will target the first list item and here we are, we are able to give border none and then here is let's check it and here is the border is become hidden and here you see that this image is literally on the upside so we have to adjust its position we it is just near the border so here I'm gonna adjust it all the images have the 10 pixel on the top side so all the images are going to be adjusted here you see that these images are in the in the borders in between two borders we have to create the distance on the bottom side of the first child here you see that there is a distance on the bottom side and there is no distance because we have to remove the border so it is disturbed here is the petting zero zero and here is the six pixel and here is a 16 pixel and here let's render it and here it is there is a padding on the bottom side and now we have to give the style to the anchor tag and then it will be okay here is and here it is and first of all give it the colors to the headings here is I'm gonna give it the gray color and here is the font size we have to apply the font size here is 14 pixel and then here is the line height is become 20 pixel and then here is the padding here is 5 pixel from the top and 0 pixel from the left and right 6 pixel for the bottom side and now here we have to remove it and here I'm also gonna apply text decoration none so the underline is removed text decoration is none and now when we take the mouse over the any anchor tag so it have the white color here is the color white here is the hash ff and here it is here I'm gonna check it here we have to write list one and here is it's going to be work here is this and it is working this distance is added inside this border by using this padding here is a five top side on the anchor tag is five pixel bottom side six pixel and here is also the padding to the list items so i hope this is adjusted i hope you understand all of my lectures if you have any problems so kindly add the discussion I will help you as much as I can. So thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next video. In that video, we will create this footer.